Hello, everyone, and welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we will learn how to leverage ChatGPT to perform code documentation. This is one of my favorite features in ChatGPT. It's incredibly powerful. So let me go ahead and walk you through a few prompts. So first, maybe let's ask ChatGPT, what is code documentation? I can tell you, well, code documentation is the process of describing how a computer program works, including the purpose, behavior, and functions of different parts of the program. And it typically involves adding comments, explanations, and other information to the code that will help other developers understand and maintain it. And well, what I can simply ask again is, what is doc strings? I assume some of you know what doc strings is, but let me go ahead and walk you through it as well. So doc strings are a type of documentation in programming that are used to describe the purpose, behavior, and usage of a specific function, module, or class in a code. A doc string is a string literal that is placed at the beginning of a function, module, or class definition and is enclosed in triple quotes or quotation marks. Okay, so what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna say, okay, I'm going to copy my simple function here, and then I'm going to ask ChatGPT, does this code have doc strings? And obviously the answer is pretty straightforward, no. The code you provided does not have doc strings. And it's gonna to explain to you, basically a doc string is a string literal that is placed at the beginning of a function and so on. And it's telling you, well, here is an example of how you could add a doc string to the my sum function. So just without anything, basically just chat GPT just recommended for you that, well, what you need to do from a proper documentation standpoint that you need to add these doc strings. Again, you will see the three quotation marks here, here as well. And basically just a quick explanation of what that function does. So it's gonna tell you, well, adds two numbers and return their sum. And it's gonna tell you as well that this function takes two arguments, X and Y, the data type of those as well, and then returns, well, return the sum of the two input numbers. Okay, pretty incredible. Without even asking ChatGPT to write the doc string for us, here we just basically got the answer. But what you could do as well is, well, if you, basically I've tried this before, and what happened is um, ChatGPT did not generate that code for us, it just explained, well, no, that code did not have doc strings. So I could do that, I can say, well, could you please add doc string to the following code? And base chat GPT is going to add it for you. Okay, what I could do instead is I can say, well, could you please add documentation? I'm gonna make it a little bit more generic and say, can you add documentation to the following code? And here I have simply my sum function. I'm gonna tell you one. Here's an example of how you could add documentation to the code. Here simply added the doc string for us. And it's gonna tell you, well, in this example, the doc string provides a brief description of what the function does what parameters it take, and what it returns as well. Okay, what I could do next is I can say, well, could you please add maybe comments? So instead of adding documentation, I'm gonna say, could you please add comments to the following code? So what you see here is gonna say, basically, ChatGPT added comments, and if you're familiar, of course, with Python programming, here you add a comment by adding a hashtag at the beginning, and you will see basic hashtag is gonna tell you, well, define a function that takes two parameters, here, hashtag, add these two parameters together, return the value of Z, and then call the function afterwards. Okay, what I could do next, I can say, well, what if I maybe don't have that function and I would like to write a doc string for a function that calculates the factorial of a number? Here we go, we're gonna tell you, well, here's an example. So basically it's writing for you the actual function itself along with the doc string or the documentation associated with it and this is simply a function that is going to calculate the factorial for a given number. And so it's explaining to you here basically what that function does. Again, pretty incredible. Okay, what I could do next, I can say, well, could you please document a Python script that generates a plot from a data set? Pretty, pretty generic, but here we go. I'm gonna tell you, well, sure, here's an example of how you could document a Python script that generates a plot from a data set. So here, basically, you will see the doc string here. And you can see the actual code that basically generates or performs uh, data plotting. And here we go, you'll see the add arguments, here parse the arguments. Again, basically you will see that ChatGPT added two elements in here, it added basic doc strings here highlighted in green and with these two quotation marks. And you can also see comments as well associated with every pretty much every section or lines of code. And basically you will see the here create a new figure and basically use matplotlib to plot X versus Y data sets. Okay, 
What if I would like maybe to test chat GPT ability to uh, document a code for us that a little bit more complex compared to just our simple function. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say, well, document the following Python script. And this is what you see here. I included the exact same code that trains a machine learning regression model that I showed you earlier. Let's go ahead and test it out. It's going to tell you, well, sure, here is an example. Here basically added the doc strings here. We didn't have that before. It's telling you, well, this is the usage. Here are the dependencies, for example. These are the functions that we're using. Seaborn, pandas, matplotlib, numpy, xgboost, and scikit-learn. It's going to tell you, well, the output from that code is a heat map. We have a histogram. We have scatter plot. We also have the model metrics, which is RMSE, MSE, MAE, and uh, coefficient of determination, or R squared. And you can see the code as well, along with the documentation. Again, pretty incredible. And what I could do next, I can say, well, could you please explain the following Python script for me? So if I say explain the following Python script, and I can simply go ahead and I'm going to copy the exact same code that I showed you before. This is the code that trains a machine learning model. Let's see what's going to happen. What you get here, well, this Python script performs the following tasks. I'm going to import the data. I'm going to import the libraries. I'm going to display the first top six instances. We display the feature columns. And then we are going to check the shape of our pandas uh, data frame. And then we're going to check whether we have null or missing elements or not. And then we're going to generate histograms, plots, scatter plots, and then afterwards split our data to training and testing, train an XGBoost algorithm, evaluate the model, make predictions, calculate the metrics, and display as well all the metrics using the print function. Again, super powerful. OK, what I could do next is I can say, well, could you please add comments to the following script? And what you see here is basically I removed every single comment that I had in my code. So here I just have only the code lines. And I'm just saying, OK, instead of adding the doc strings, I would like maybe to add comments to the following script. And let's see if that works. And you press Enter. Sure. And here we go. It's going to tell you, well, import necessary libraries. We're going to import or load our data, display the first six in instances using the head method, display the bottom six instances using the tail method, display the feature columns. Again, super powerful. Generate histograms. Check if you have missing values. And again, you will see comments. It's actually very, very accurate. And um, that's pretty good. So now we tested chat, chat GPT ability to write doc strings for us and to also uh, add comments as well to our code. OK? All right. So that's it. That's simply all I have for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. And see you in the next lesson.